All right, so this is tuning into that physical information in your body. We're talking about data. Now, the interpretation of what that data means is up for you and your own quasi-scientific process. I'm, I'm inviting you to just become aware of what happens in your body around different choices, around different environments, and just to see, it's like, it's like a rich data stream that you can tap into. And the more you tap into it, the more pieces come out, the more information, the more clear the detail. And as you build this relationship with your body and your body's information system, you'll find that it tunes itself to be more useful for you. And it tunes itself to be more accurate to the way you want your body to respond to something. So... This is the way I do it, and I do a system that involves the chakras, okay? So get, get yourself in a comfortable position, and I want you to just take a deep breath in, maybe sit down or lie down, and I want you to first feel what it feels like in your heart, okay? Just get a sense of what's going on there. Like, are you finding, like right now my heart is a little bit constricted feeling, and I think it's because I'm nervous because I'm making a video. So just breathe into that heart space and feel, maybe you feel some tingling, maybe you feel some heaviness, maybe you feel some bubbliness, maybe you feel open and expansive, maybe you feel tired. Just get a sense of what that looks like. Maybe there's a color, maybe there's a, a sense of density, maybe there's a sense of movement or speed or, um, or brightness or darkness there. Move on down and check into your stomach. Now just a little bit about the chakras. The heart chakra is, is for many people, one of the strongest aspects of the guidance system. It's the place between heaven and earth. It's kind of the, the junction system where it all comes together. So this is where we connect to others, connect to the world. Love energy is not a bad place to find our guidance. Move on down into your stomach just breathe into that and feel into it. I notice my stomach is also a little tight. Maybe I'm not breathing as, as strong as I could. That feels a little bit better. The stomach chakra is often involved with willpower, our sense of will in this, in this universe, our ability to make things happen. So just check in with that. See what kind of information is there. Maybe you feel tight a lot of times when I'm feeling nervous or like I want to hide myself. This, this area of my body becomes tighter for me. Maybe you feel really open and, and deep breathing and free flowing. Come up and check on the throat. Does this feel open, relaxed? Does this feel constricted in any way? Does it feel like you're able to express yourself? And just get a sense of what kind of data is right there. It's also important to kind of notice the back of these chakras. You know, you have the back of the throat, the back of the heart, the back of the stomach. Now these, two, these three chakras, to me, are the ones that speak to me the most. I really notice when my heart's feeling impacted. And often, my heart will be the first thing I listen to above any other feeling. And sometimes you might have a heart that feels really open, but the stomach feels really tight and constricted. And that's just data. It's up to you to kind of figure out what that means. You know, that might mean that your heart wants to do it, but your, your ego and your willpower are kind of like, uh, I don't know. So continue to scan those three areas. You also have two chakras up here. You've got the third eye, which is, it, it, there's many models for what the third eye is, but the third eye could be your cerebral cortex. It could be part of your pineal gland. It actually, you know, is often marked as this place in your forehead. So it's, I think all these things are working together. It's up to you to do your own research and find what the third eye is for you. But just see if there's anything happening there. Sometimes when I'm really lit up and in the zone, I feel a slight pull, almost like something's pulling from behind my forehead. Sometimes it feels like it's completely turned off. But this is often the seat of our ability to see outside of these four-dimensional eyes. It's the part of our brain that can imagine and visualize. It's the part of your brain that can dream with your eyes closed and see beautiful visions and things like that. So you might just check to see if this part of you is activated. 
the crown chakra at the very top of your head. In many models, it's where we receive information from the universe, from the all that is. So just check to see if there's any activity there, if there's any opening there. Go down to your hips. That's the, the, the sacral chakra, or the second chakra. This is the sixth and seventh. This is the, the second chakra. It's your, your genitals, your hips, the, the, the base of your bowels, uh, kind of around the back of your tailbone. Um, tailbone is a little bit first chakra, but, but it's this whole area. This is the area that is generally known as the, cre- the creative space. If you're a woman, it's the place where you birth a, a be- you can birth a being into the world. Um, but much of our creativity is there, and many people get stuck here, so it's really important to sort of check in in this area to see if your creative vortex is open. Now, maybe, you know, a lot of people get really tight in the hips, or um, this part of themselves feels cut off, so it's just something to notice. Like, feel what that area of your body feels like. And then as you feel that area, you might also notice your tailbone and your hips and your your thighs. This starts to get to the first chakra. And that first chakra, in my view, sort of goes all the way down through the legs into the bottom of your feet. It's that whole structure of support. Some say it's the base of the tailbone, but I feel like it's more than that. It's the base of the tailbone as it's anchored into the earth. And this is your grounding on the planet. Sometimes we all get stuck up here. You know, we don't have that, that lower body awareness. And that's really good information. For me, when I'm not grounded, it means I'm way more likely to fall into other people's reality or I'm way more likely to be affected by other people or negativity outside of me or I'm, I'm more likely to blend with someone else's reality and lose my own a little bit. So it's really important to feel your feet and your hips. So this is kind of a full body scan, okay? And the idea is you just want to find out what your baseline is. Like, what, where are you at right now? It's, it's good to check in all the time. You know, it's really good to find out from day to day, from moment to moment, from environment to environment, person to person, conversation to conversation. What's going on in these three places, okay? This is sort of the data collection part. If you just go around and start to feel, oh, wow, when I'm outside, these aspects of my body, my heart feels different, my stomach feels different, my shoulders, the back of my heart feels different. Um, ooh, when I'm talking to that person, I feel like my feet. Oh, you got to see this little girl skipping. <laughs> I love being in a park. So when uh, this, as you start to build up, I guess, an inner library of what this stuff means, you'll start to notice how your body shifts from moment to moment you'll start to get really rich information about how certain conversations affect your body, how certain choices, that's a big one, how certain choices affect your body. Uh, you'll start to get ideas about other people's energy or, or your energy around other people because it's kind of a, a two-way street. Sometimes when we think it's someone else's energy, it's really what that person's energy is opening up inside of ourselves that we're, we're, we're sensing with our body. So this is a bit of the data collection part. In the next part, after you do this, I want you to, I'm, I'm going to talk about finding a yes and a no. Now, it's just another way to navigate, but this information is going to be really useful. Okay? And I'll see you in the next video.